All right, today's lesson is the second lesson in our solid geometry unit or 3D geometry unit. It's uh, cross sections. The homework to go along with this is page five to eight in the homework packet. <clears throat> All right, now, the best way for me to explain what a cross section is, is take a look at this prism. If you slice it with this plane, the, uh, the cross section, if I took this top part and I dipped this in on an ink pad, right along here, and then I put that ink pad or that piece on a piece of paper, what would the shape be? It would be right here and square. It, the cross section is the shape formed along the edge of the slice. It is not what you're left. So some kids will say, well, I'm left with a cube. No, you're not. Right here is the cross section. If you dip this edge in ink and put it on paper, <laughs> it'll be a square. <laughs> okay. When a plane is slicing, it can slice a figure many ways. Parallel to its base, perpendicular to its base, or at a slant. It can slice a pyramid through the vertex or not through a vertex. The same three-dimensional figure can have different cross-sections depending on how it is sliced. All right, example one. If a square, if the square prism above is sliced perpendicular to its base and two of its sides, what will the shape of its uh, cross-section be? So I'm going to attempt to draw this. That means we'd be slicing it right down through here because here's its two bases. And if I slice it, We'll go along like this. What would its shape be? It would be a rectangle. There it is, right there. Okay, cross section of a cone. It is uh, slicing it diagonally. Right here is what the cross section would look like. And it is an ellipse or an oval. All right, now this one is tricky. A square pyramid sliced by a plane perpendicular to its base, but not through its vertex. So perpendicular to the base, so that means it's going straight down through the bottom of the base, but it's not going through its vertex. So the shape is going to be right there. What is that? It will be a trapezoid. Describe the cross section of slicing this cube. So we're slicing basically a corner off of a cube. Right here. Is the edge of the cut the cross section? Is the cross section related to any of the faces? No. Well, it's diagonal on them. It's not perpendicular or parallel. The plane passes through through, vert through vertices of the cube, and the cross section has three sides. The sides of the cross section are diagonals of the congruent square faces of the cube. So their lengths are equal. Because look where this goes. It goes from here to here, diagonal, there to there, diagonal, there to there, diagonal. So the slice is an equilateral triangle. And again, it's an equilateral triangle. We can take a plane, a flat surface, and slice through solid. This is called a cross section. All right. If we do a uh, slice vertically, vertically is straight down through. Vertical goes up and down. Horizontal goes left and right. So this would be a triangle. Now, if you, you can't really see this here, but if you were going on a diagonal, 
Both the top part of the slice be bigger than the bottom part. So it is a trapezoid. And I will show that in school. It'll be easier to see. Uh, a horizontal slice here is a square. Describe. Here we go. Which of the following describes the shape resulting from this cross section? So if we do a, um, a horizontal slice of this cone, it's going to be a circle. Now, if the radius created by the shape in C is 5 inches, what will the area of the cross section be? Well, we've decided that our area, our, our cross section is a circle. So pi r squared would be the formula we would use to find the area of the cross section. So pi times pi squared is either 25 pi, written exactly, inches squared, or if you put 3.14 in, 78.5 inches. 